Britney Spears does it again in latest pop culture comeback. Britney Spears is hitting up pop culture one more time, releasing a new album. Singing retro karaoke hits and about to take the MTV Video Music Awards VMA stage for the first time since 2007. Her last appearance at the awards was underwhelming. Spears, 34, who became a teen pop phenomenon with breathy, sexually charged hits like Toxic and Oops, I Did It Again released new album Glory on Friday ahead of a much-anticipated return to the VMA show on Sunday in New York. She also became the latest superstar to ride, sing and chat with U.S. talk show host James Corden for his viral carpool karaoke segment, where both donned the schoolgirl uniforms that shot her to fame as a 16-year-old in the 1998 music video for Baby One More Time, strangely, she appears to have lip-synced her way through her back catalog. Spears dominated pop music before undergoing a personal and career meltdown in 2006-2007 that include shaving her signature blonde locks, losing custody of her two children and being placed under a court-ordered conservatorship. She made a comeback in late 2008 and for the past three years has been performing a nightly show in Las Vegas. But the new album and the anticipation surrounding her VMA performance have thrust her back in the national spotlight. Rolling Stone's Rob Sheffield said Glory was another fantastic comeback for Spears, in which she goes back to the fizzy electro-stomp mode she does best. Glory was top of the iTunes charts in more than 40 nations on Friday, including Saudi Arabia, Chile and Russia. Billboard's Jennifer Cation Armstrong said that with the single and music video for Make Me, Spear had reclaimed her standout talent, a distinctive dance style that combines cheerleader precision with slinky bits of burlesque. Spears will perform Make Me with rapper g Easy at the live VMA show, her first appearance there since her halting performance of Gimme More in 2007 when her career hit a low. She has had such a huge impact on this show throughout her career. So for us to have her back is a no-brainer, said Garrett English, executive producer of the VMA show. She embodies what the VMAs is to a large extent and she has had some of the biggest moments on this stage and I think Sunday night will be the same, English added. Spears is also the subject of a 2017 TV biopic for the Lifetime cable channel that will chart her rise to fame along with her stumbles, starring Australian actor Natasha Bass.